Hello and welcome to Installer Guru, where we make installation easy for you. Today, we will install NextCloud on our true NAS scale system. NextCloud is a suite of client-server software that creates and uses file hosting services. NextCloud provides functionality similar to Dropbox, Office 365, or Google Drive. It can be hosted in the cloud or on-premises. If you want to make your data private and store it on-premises, then this is the right solution for you. If you don't know what TrueNAS Scale is or how to install it, please check out our TrueNAS videos in our channel playlist. TrueNAS Scale offers a Docker-based application that you can install on top of your NAS dataset. In this demo, we will install NextCloud and we will also install Collabora Online for document editing. Step 1. Create a dataset for NextCloud. First, create a dataset where we will store NextCloud user data. You can enable data encryption and compression based on your needs. You can also set a data quota for this dataset. You can check the data deduplication options. For the data share type, we will set it to apps as we use it to store app data. You can also set the ACL permission type. Now save the data set, go back to the apps menu and click on the discover apps section. Step two. Install NextCloud now. Search for NextCloud and click on Install. Here, you need to set up the configuration for the first time. First, choose the version and create the admin username and password. Then, check the maximum upload size and memory limits. In the network configuration, choose the web port. By default, it uses 9001, but you can change it as per your environment. Now, choose the app, data, and database directories. You can set a host path or select the default dataset. In this demo, I am using one single data path, but you can choose multiple datasets for different types of data. For example, you can set one for NextCloud user data and another for the database. You can also adjust the resources, like CPU and memory, it may take a little time to complete the process, but once the installation is successful, you will see the application in a running state. Now, we will open it in our web browser. Here, we will enter the admin username and password that we created earlier during the installation. Now you can see I can access NextCloud in my browser. Step 3. Install Collabora Online. Next, we will install another app on TrueNAS, which is Collabora Online, to be used as NextCloud's document editor. Search for the app and make some configuration changes like admin username, password, and port numbers. After installing Collabora Online, open it in your browser and log in using the username and password. Step 4. Set up Collabora with NextCloud. Now, we will set the NextCloud office path in the settings section. We will use it under the own server URL section. Make sure to check disable certificate verification as we are using a private SSL certificate for communication. Now, you can see I am able to open document files with Collabora online. You can create new files and edit them in the browser. NextCloud stores metadata for document versions so that you can restore a document to a previous version anytime. You can create multiple groups and users in the NextCloud Users section. You can assign access permissions and data quotas as needed. In the NextCloud Files section, you can upload multiple files into NextCloud and share them with your friends and family. You can customize the sharing settings as per your requirements. You can also add multiple apps to your NextCloud instance to make it more productive. For example, I added drawing tools from the app section and installed them. Now you can see I can create some beautiful drawings in NextCloud. 
NextCloud offers multiple apps and functions that you can enable as needed. NextCloud is also available on desktop and mobile apps, allowing you to access your files on the go. That's all for now. Thank you for spending your time with us. If you found this video helpful, please like and share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to Installer Guru for more helpful videos.